This is what smallpox looks like. For centuries, this infectious disease ravaged millions of people unfortunate enough to come in contact with it. Estimates between 20 and 60% of all those who contracted it would perish. Children were affected worst of all by this disease, where over 80% of the infected died. Of course, smallpox is not the only disease to have greatly impacted the human race. Today, in 2017, the world battles HIV, malaria, tuberculosis, numerous neglected tropical diseases, sanitation-related diseases, the list goes on. In 2013 alone, there were 9,000 new cases of tuberculosis and 36,000 cases of Lyme disease. In 2014, 44,000 cases of HIV, and that's all just in the U.S. Though it may seem like things in the world are getting worse, the impact of global health interventions show there is good reason to be optimistic about the future. That's why I'm partnering up with Bill and Melinda Gates to tell you about the magic number in all of this. Zero. Zero is the number the Gates Foundation is striving towards every day. Zero cases of tuberculosis. Zero cases of malaria. Zero cases of polio. They are focusing on the innovation of vaccines and medical progress to eradicate infectious disease, help mothers, and save children. If there was one number that proves how life has changed for the poorest, it would be 122 million, the number of children's lives saved since 1990. In fact, the number of childhood deaths per year has been cut in half in the last 15 years. There is hope. There are heroes working to improve global health, and there is an impact we can all make no matter what country we're in. Outside of makeup, you won't see this disease face to face. Smallpox was the first ever successful vaccine. It was eradicated from the globe in 1979 thanks to English physician Edward Jenner. We can, we must, work towards this goal for all infectious diseases. Read more about how life has and will continue to improve for the world in Bill and Melinda Gates' annual letter at gatesletter.com.